Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's continue our complete beginner's guide to Dave the Diver, shall we? Well, what's amazing is that we are on day two, and we're ready to kind of explore, do some more diving. We need to make 100 gold, we need to acquire the agar and the red starfish, as well as what else ever else we can find down here. There's nothing on our apps that we need to work with, so let's go ahead and dive in. Remember, we're in the morning. We have a morning dive slot. We'll have an afternoon dive slot, and then it's time for the restaurant. So let's see if we can get Bancho some good sushi. Jellyfish, a favorite food of the world's largest sea turtle, the leatherback. All right, here we go. Okay. So here's some prickly stuff that we can't pick up until we get our gloves. And we got an orange starfish. And there's a cooking ingredient. I'm just going to go ahead and get this. Oh, there's a bad guy. Let's leave him there. Let's pick up this wood. And let's go here. Now, look in the upper left. That eel's going to try to snap at us. But as long as we stay down here, we should be fine. And dodge out of the way there and we got some salt so Bancho will be happy that we can use that for some new ingredients and we're going to just dive down here and see what's available and I'm going to push pause just to talk to you about this okay so while the screen is paused while you go to the start menu and you're diving you'll notice your O2 is stable the game is actually legitimately paused sometimes time will pass in games like this not here you can see in the bottom left your in-progress missions. So I've got the ecological data mission and I've got repairing the Bancho Sushi Shop. And then over on the right where it says acquired, you can see all the stuff I've picked up. Now this is actually useful because you can dump stuff here. You can discard it. And what you can do is just like look at the weight. And if there's something that you do, don't really want, you can dump something that you feel is too heavy so that you can pick something else up or not be encumbered. So you can always drop things if you've picked them up already. And you could come here to double check what you have acquired so far. I'm going to go here and look at the quest items. They all have this blue diamond above them. So the red starfish, that's one. This is agar. You have to cut it with your knife and pick it up, pick it up. We got it. I'll even get some more. Now... We have everything for the quest except for we need one more red starfish, as you can see over here. So that quest is almost complete. Now you see this big fish that's in front of me. I'll show you in a moment. This dude is my favorite fish uh, early game for making good money, but he's a big boy, so he's hard to get. So I'll show you that if we want this dude, we can, we can actually hit him with our knife to soften him up. Just hit him a little bit. And then uh, we could start hitting him with the harpoon. He will not come in easily. Let's get this item, actually, as we're fighting him. Maybe it'll help us. Uh, that's O2 canister. That's good. Um, the, the O2 capsule that we have right here, you can look at it, and it restores 50% of your oxygen. It's a usable item. You push Y to use that. I'm just going to keep harpooning this guy until we can start to bring him in. Now, again, this is a hard fish for us because... He has so many hit points. So you can just harpoon him, you know, a ton. Or you can go over and just hit him with your knife a little bit to make him a little bit softer. You don't want to kill him, though. You want to get him with your harpoon. And this is worth it, trust me. Like, this might look diabolical, like how long this is taking to soften this guy. But he gives you so much fish to make sushi with and that allows you to level up the sushi that you can create with this guy more easily, and it's already a desirable and expensive sushi. So you're like, oh my goodness, this is taking forever. Okay, good, we're finally there. Now we didn't get him this time, but soon, just keep pushing the A button here and wearing him down. Uh, oops, here we go. And if at first you don't succeed, just keep doing this. Eventually, yep, we got him. And then this guy is so big that you don't reel him in, but you come over, you hold X by him, and you chop up the parrot fish, and then you do it again. Like that. And then now look at this. We just got 10 green humphead parrot fish 
um, which is a rank three sushi and it's two out of three stars so it's heavy but it's really really good for us to make some money so that's tremendous this walkie talkie icon right here okay we're at critical depth uh if you use that it will call a uh vessel to come down and pull you out immediately so you don't have to surface so you just it takes a little bit of time to get there but basically what happens is you pull it in and it just takes you out so that you if you have low o2 you can get out easily i'm looking for some o2 right now if i can't find any i'll just use my canister um i'm gonna use it no no sense risking it let's go ahead and search Ooh, and we found a cheap japanese sword so this thing right here is damage eight versus the damage three that we were doing so this is great for catching uh you know bigger fish that we need to soften or fighting jerk fish like that aggressive fish so in this case what we can do actually we're going to pick up this i'm still looking for another i'm going to hit this big guy and you see how much more damage we're doing to it because we have this sword i'm not going to kill it but i'm going to do a lot of damage so i can pull this in and oh this guy wants to come fight but you can just kill him so easily with this japanese sword and we're going to just keep doing this until we get this guy in. We're going to be really close to it. I don't want to go critical depth, though. Because it's just going to make me slower. And let's see. Almost there. I don't want to hit him with a sword because I don't want to accidentally kill him. Here we are. I knew I was close, but almost there. And we got him. Let's get this big guy. And get him again. Tremendous. So now we're already overweight. I'm going to drop some stuff that I don't need. We're not overweight by a lot. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, discard this wood, for example. And anything else that is heavy that I don't need. Uh, yeah, this yellow back fusilier, I'm going to drop because it's only at one star because we killed it with a sword accidentally. And you could drop the lionfish if you want, but I'm going to keep it. Here's a full O2. This is great. There's some agar. Uh, we'll keep our eye on that full O2. I just want to, I really want to finish the ecological quest if I can. Let me go ahead and just get this and move on. I'm not really trying to pick up anything else at the moment besides starfish. They will be on the floor uh, of the ocean or on one of these coastal shelves, whatever. There's another full O2. Fantastic. So we can stay for a while. I'm going to open this, see what we get. And oh, we got the scooter. Okay, so this thing gives you increased movement speed by 70%, but it only has 10 seconds of use. So you can boost with this thing to go uh, really fast for a bit like this. It's really cool. It's like the Sea Glide in Subnautica. I love it for uh, fighting, you know, more difficult fish or just getting around if you need a burst of speed. It's really, really helpful to surface with. And I want the uh here it is right here it's at critical depth so i'm going to boost to go quickly get it and then swim up i don't want to be deep right now at all so i'm just going to swim up all right and we know that there is an o2 up here but i now have i'm going to push start look at this we've completed this quest and then Cobra wants 100, you know, gold coins, which we're going to get him when we sell the sushi tonight at the restaurant. But to be honest, now that we've completed this, and you could have just completed the ecological data quest in your second dive of the day, there's not much more that we need. But I'm not so overburdened that I can't take anything. So I'm just going to get the O2. And I'm going to, um, actually, I'm going to pick up some of this metal. I'm going to fill up with as much stuff as I can until he says I can't carry anymore. And I don't really want agar. Let's see. Here's a cooking ingredient. This is cool. 
and you see right here this is the right edge when the map stops scrolling and you get over this is the right edge of the current area that we're in we got a little bit more salt and he could carry some more but just keep an eye on your o2 at this point there's no reason to um, be a hero now all of these blue guys we did level them up the tang so we could try to get them and continue leveling up they, they do not sell well for sushi you know what i mean but it's there's no reason to to not have a few if we want to level them up and dave is able to catch we're not at max weight so we can get some more and once that turns into i can't carry anymore then we're out of here there's a tougher fish doesn't go down to one uh there we go and we're now full up can't carry anything more let's get out of here just celebrate the fact that we filled up and we completed the quest And we got two of the big uh, pair of fish guys, which I really like. All right, we're going to return to the boat as we surface. And we'll dump all of this stuff in the fish tank. And she's calling. Hmm, you actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you, says Ellie. All right, this should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised, since you helped me do my research. The sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. All right. So we get 70 gold, 5 olive oil, and 5 soy sauce. And the olive oil and the soy sauce are, of course, ingredients for the kitchen, which help us make new recipes, which isn't a big deal right now, but it will become so. And the 70 gold should trigger Cobra. Yes, it did. You've collected 100 gold. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming, says Dave. All right, so we finished that one. And here's our report. So we got the, the big fish that we got was the 150 centimeter green humphead parrotfish, the big boy. And we got some new stuff down here. Uh, we went 45 meters deep. We That was our longest dive, and we did really well. We're going to say great we got salt and kajime and look at this we got 10 tangs but we got 20 of these parrot fish so great and we'll put it all to the fish tank and bancho is like sweet dave did you get to loosen up yesterday hmm i saw a lot of nasty fish it won't be easy to go any deeper hmm i did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak perhaps something puts them on edge speaking of which why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon a gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. And here comes Duff. Wow. Cobra. It's been a while. Who's the goofy-looking guy next to you? Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. People who live in glass houses... So, what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. I've begun a very interesting business, haha. -ha. And now I'm in need of some weapons. Duff, I need your help. Hmm, season two of Straw Stella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. This man loves his anime. All right, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it change every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to use, uh, I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Hmm, that is rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true of guns which have precision parts. Hmm, so we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves? Heh, <laughs> Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master duff. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. 
Since it appears that you have no guns at all, let's get started with something easy. I think I'll need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him, right Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind. So they tell you what happens when you run out of oxygen right there. We finished Ellie's deal, and now we need to find rope and scrap iron. So, um, let's see here. What can we check? We could go to the restaurant if you want, and then um, it doesn't pass time, and then go dive, and then come back and, you know, like you can go to the restaurant, check things out, then go dive before it turns evening if you wish. Uh, I can check in here what I've stored uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and dive back in. I think we're good to go. What you could do is go back and look at the fish tank and plan your menu. Uh, but this is what we're going to be looking for. Is the green humphead parrot fish. Because it's, it's a great fish for us to catch early. But it is big and heavy. So we're going to need some other stuff. And what do we need? Let's check the quest. We need rope and scrap iron so he does not need wood i'm going to pick this up anyway but we're going to be looking for the quest items remember they will have a blue diamond over them now there is a there's something over here in a yellow crate i love to get these yellow crates as early as possible because they can have amazing things like a new melee weapon or an o2 can it just changes how you're going to play you know if i know that i have 50 percent o2 waiting for me uh, i can completely alter my style now i don't want to go below max depth this early there's no reason to unless i saw a quest item or something like that but i don't see any right now they would be here we go here's rope you see the blue diamond we got the rope and we will go up and oh look there's a scrap item well we just completed duff's quest that easily so now uh we can keep exploring there is o2 right there for us i'd love a better melee weapon uh and some more parrot fish there's the parrot fish right there there's a uh auto transport out if we want it there's another aggressive fish this is another reason i just love having the melee weapon is you know if these jerk aggressive fish want to get on me uh, i'm just gonna swim away and we can like knife the guy a little bit but you see he bit us because our knife is kind of a joke. It doesn't do enough damage. So I'm going to swim over here and try to see. I'm not worried about my O2. Because we know there's a full can up there. Oh, I accidentally just used my canister pushing the wrong button. But to be honest, it's fine. Because we've got another one up there. Jellyfish, you can definitely hunt. But uh, right now, eh. Here we go. Here's a parrotfish that's not necessarily right by a melee guy. So I'm going to do a bunch of damage to this guy. Pick up this bowl. Just soften this guy up until he starts to bleed profusely. We're not, oh, there's a shark. Okay, we're not going to kill the guy. But we're going to try to get him in. We're going to avoid the shark. We don't have the right stuff right now. We have the scooter to get away if we have to. Oh, boy. I'm just like really daintily trying to not get caught by the shark. We'll take a tang. Come on board. And we'll see how much more damage we have to do to this big guy. Getting there. He's bleeding, you can see. Oh, we got him. So next couple of times we should do this. Oh boy, I missed. I turned around accidentally. You see though, he didn't bite us. Like, this is another reason why this fish is cool, is because he's not, like, you know, necessarily really going to hurt us. There we go. We got him. If you want to try to fight a shark, you can, but I really don't recommend it until you've upgraded yourself more. This fish is good, but it needs two to catch for now. He's going to hit the wall and come back. There we go. 
and we got the Mediterranean parrotfish. So we got the green parrotfish and the Mediterranean parrotfish. Let's kind of move back towards the O2. Oh, here's some scrap iron and a crate. What you got in here? Oh, okay. Well, it's a sleepy toy hammer. This could be good. I'm going to get all this metal. And it looks like we got ourselves a oop, tang. Now, again, I'm just doubling down on fish that I've already caught so that I can uh, level it up and sell it for more. Go ahead and get this O2. Yeah, these guys are not real. Some of the fish you'll see, like, you can't actually catch them. Like seahorses, there's some different fish that there's just no purpose. Uh, besides decoration, but they're not, they're not good for sushi, apparently. Oh, boy. Let's see if we can put this guy to sleep. We did not put him to sleep. Not even close. All right, let's get him. Got him? All right. And... There's an escape right there, so we could just try to get this guy. There we go. And we're at max. I'm going to show you this. Just so you can see what this does and how long it takes. So what you have to do is you have to come to this escape pod. And... It says, use the escape pod to escape your boat as quickly, to your boat as quickly as possible. Check your surroundings first as calling process takes some time. So we say, okay, and then we're just gonna hold X, search, search, bam. And then you'll see he just gets in this, he reads his magazine and you're done. So you have to wait for that X to fill up. So if there's like hostile fish, it's be careful when you're doing that. And if you're super low on O2, you're not gonna make it, but we made it. Well, to think you'd actually manage to bring it back, I expect you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. Thanks, buddy. Dot, dot, dot. Seems I've underestimated you slightly. Very well. I'll show you how to make the basic underwater rifle with these materials. First of all, download Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. It's well optimized, only 42 megabytes, you could say. All right, so we're going to go to our phone, and we get an app called The Weapon Shop, and we open it, and he just lets us craft this right away. You've collected all the materials. Good. Which was the rope and the scrap iron. Let's try to create a new weapon. So we say, okay. And here comes Duff doing his thing. It is the Sistine Chapel all over again. We've done it. Basic underwater rifle, and we equip it. Now, you see this does 15 damage and has a range of 5 and a magazine of 8, which means it only has 8 bullets, and you can find ammo when you're under the water now, and we say equip it right away, yes. Okay. Heh, with a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. Well, I guess. Oh, and one more thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. Wow, weapon chests? You can't bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy, you could say. So what he's telling you is, like, you'll find now weapon crates that appear when you're under, and these will give you a random weapon that you can only use for that dive, but if you get enough blueprints, you can actually learn how to craft them with Duff. And he says, I'll collect info about them and create blueprints for you. Weapons made with a blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. So this allows you to make a weapon and start the dive with a weapon that will last. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, Trinity. All right. So this is huge because now we can fight bigger fish and even soften up parrotfish if you want with the range of a gun and still get two stars if you catch it with the harpoon. Uh, after you've softened it, but it gives you also the means to just shoot down aggressive fish or even sharks. You can craft weapons at Duff's Weapon Shop. Acquiring a weapon a certain number of times will complete a blueprint, making the weapon craftable. Go hunting with powerful weapons. All right, and we say, great, we will. And 
we are all done. Just like that. We'll go to the fish tank. He's happy. Wrap up your day and get things ready. So he always tells you, you can't really, like, miss it. He just, you know, um, tells you it's time to go. Like in Graveyard Keeper, you could miss Prayer Day if you weren't paying attention. In this, you're fine. Let's go. All right, and now it's time to open this restaurant if we want, but of course we have to set the menu first. So we're going to go to the menu. We haven't added nothing, so don't open it without adding stuff to the menu or you will be sad. All right, so look at this. This is the humphead parrotfish, and now we can enhance stuff. So if you can enhance, there'll be a green, um, two green chevrons or arrows pointing up in the upper right of the box, and you push X, and it tells you. So right now, this green humphead parrotfish sushi that I'm making, it sells for 16 each, and it has a good yummy taste factor of 23. But if I enhance it, it will go up to 20 per serving and double in yumminess, and it still serves one. Now look at how it says right here, though. It's going to take three of the 30 parrotfish that I have, the meat that I have, to level it up so it, it it's very expensive materials wise to level up but it's totally worth it so we're going to enhance it and we get a little sweet cutscene from boncho as he levels it up bam all right so now it's up a level and we can enhance it further i'm going to do it it takes four of the meat this time but you can see it again adds a significant value to its uh, yumminess and to its price. So we're going to do it. There's not a cutscene every time, usually only, you know, once in a while. And we can even enhance it further to level four, but it takes six. I will do it. The reason I'm doing it um, is because, quite honestly, people aren't going to buy everything that you make and you want to have the most value possible so i like to just level up as much as i can this takes 10 to get it to level 5 but look at this now it's selling for 35 each i don't have enough to level it up anymore so we're just going to add the maximum and serve seven of these and see if we can i pushed up on the control pad to just go to the max and i say okay and then we can add to the menu here and let's level up the blue tang now remember we couldn't do this before level it up once we're just going to level this up as many times as we can you can see that it's now taking six i don't care i want blue tang to be actually somewhat valuable and i'll level it up to five now it's really expensive but we can max out and it's selling for way more than it used to it's still not the best but it's reasonable we could level this up but we don't have enough materials so then we need to pick what else do we want to sell we only have two more slots so we want to sell whatever is the most valuable. So it is these two down here. So we'll go ahead and sell this. Um, oh, but we can level these up. One. And I'll level it up again. All right, great. And now I'll sell two of these. And I will sell this one red lionfish like that. Now, if you want to save stuff so that you can keep it in your tank and try to catch more to level up, totally. Go ahead and do that. I'm going to set the menu like this. And I'm going to go ahead and close this, and we're going to open the restaurant now. Hold Y. I'm going to move Dave over right next to Boncho to start out. So I can pick up anything that's made. And here come people. And they're like, blip, blop, blip, blip. And they say this place seems different. It is different. Look how um, we've repaired it. No, we haven't because it takes time. So immediately we're gonna just go serve her drink. Tomorrow it'll be fixed. All right, great. And let's go ahead and get this over here. Uh, I gotta do the drink. Oh God, we're taking too long. You can see she's starting to get upset. Give it to her. There we go. Okay, much better. And this guy wants it. He's getting frustrated. Here's your food. You're going to love it. 
And he got tired. Okay. Dish it. And we need to uh, clean this up. Got it. Alright, and what's she gonna order? Okay. You see, as the wasabi goes down, we can't serve anymore. I'm gonna run over here. She sat really far away. Let's give her that. And save up my stamina. Run over here. And give her this. There we go. She gave us a little tip. We're doing beautifully. We're at 193 money. And it's over. So the wasabi wasn't out. But, you know, they just give you a set number of customers. And we had our best day ever. We got five Artisan's Flame, which will come up later. We don't use it right now. We got a five-star rating because nobody was upset. We made 165 coins, which is phenomenal. Terrific. And it's day three, and whoa, who's this? Are you Dave by chance? It's Dr. Bacon. Yes, what is it, sir? Wow, I'm always right about these things. Ha ha. Nice to meet you, I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the Sea People Civilization. The Sea People Civilization? Ha ha, I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me to tell you about it then? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have asked. Cutscene. The Sea People Civilization lives in legends. They're said to have occupied this region a long time ago. They worshipped fish and had gills, allowing them to live underwater. They lived in the depths, allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasions by other civilizations, but sudden changes to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. That's about all there is to say. So we had some mer people living down below. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course. But proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find, one that could turn the whole academic world upside down. Ancient, an ancient civilization under the sea. You'd only see such things in comic books or games. What makes you so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it is from no known civilization. It is dated to around 1500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Hmm, I mean, that's interesting, but what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out, and he won't be around for a good while. That's why I'd like you to help me. Oh. My assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. We're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can. Haha, -ha, sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We'll gladly do so. Yeah, ha ha. What? We don't have the time to swim around searching for artifacts. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Boncho Sushi will be bursting at the seams. Oh god, the money for Cobra. He sees it. I suppose you have a point. All right, I'll help. Ha ha, isn't that lucky? Oh, of course, I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Wow! With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. These days, even such things can be ha handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing, huh? I love this. This is one of the things about the game that's so awesome. Everything. You make weapons, you upgrade your armor through an app. It's just amazing. Let's first install the iDiver app on the phone before we proceed. All right, so mission updated, tracking the sea people, and we've got the iDiver, and it allows us to enhance various diving equipment. Upgrade equipment with the money you make at the sushi bar and elsewhere and explore deeper waters. Now then, let me tell you how to use iDiver. I'll install the app for you, so unlock your phone first. So we're going to go to the phone, and it installed, and we open it. And upgrade the diving suit for free. So you can see right here, you can upgrade the diving suit to level 2. It takes your depth limit of 40 and doubles it to 80. And this costs 0 coins, meaning free. So we're going to do it. And boom, we got a better diving suit. Good, now you'll be able to venture a little bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget that anything can happen in deep waters. I'll be in touch. And there goes 
Dr. Bacon. All right, so we are at chapter one now, Traces of the Sea People. We're out of the prologue. We're ready to rock. It is day three, and we have a new quest, which is tracking the sea people. We need to find an artifact. But first, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go to the Eye Diver, because I have 228 coins, and we can immediately do some upgrades, which are actually pretty cheap. So we can upgrade our oxygen tank to give us more O2, which is insane. Yes, I want that, of course. So now we're up to 115.02. And I'm going to upgrade my um, cargo box so our viable weight goes from 9 to 13 kilograms. Yes. And now I have 108 left, which isn't enough to upgrade anything. But I really, really recommend that you upgrade your air tank, your cargo box, and then your diving suit whenever possible. Uh, it's just so vital. Like cargo box, it's just more money. You know, more things you could bring up. It's my favorite. O2 just makes your life easier, lets you live down there longer. And then the diving suit lets you go even deeper. Uh, the harpoon gun, upgrading the damage on your harpoon gun is also crazy. Look at this. It, tr it over triples the damage of this so that you can, you know, catch uh, some of those fish that were taking two shots in one. And those big green boys, you could start to catch them much easier with your harpoon gun. So all of this stuff is amazing. At the weapon shop, right now, we really can't do anything. We don't need to craft this because we already have that gun. So now it's just about diving, going back, getting some more sushi, trying to find a sea people artifact, and leveling up Bancho sushi uh, and repairing it. And we'll get into that next time. Everyone, this is a good place to end this second episode of our Complete Beginner's Guide. I really hope you're finding this series to be helpful and fun, and I hope that you're enjoying Dave the Diver. Please post any questions you have about the game in the comments below. I'd love to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.